Hello guys, my name is Rio and welcome back to another match day vlog. Tonight I will be heading back to the Swans Way as Chester play at home against Morecambe in our penultimate pre-season friendly. Uh, it's been dragging on for quite some time now, it's been three weeks since we played uh, Liverpool in our first friendly and since then we've won virtually every game apart from the match against Bury on Saturday but uh, you know the, re uh, the, the big kick-off is only a week away now and I really looking forward to it now. I can't wait more than ever and it should be a brilliant season ahead for us and uh, tonight it's our second to last pre-season match as of course we're playing a uh, League 2 side Morecambe. Uh, last season Morecambe they really struggled and they have uh, for the past few years. Uh, they survived relegation to the National League on the last day as we drew nil all the way at Coventry City but uh, they still survived um, uh, to the expense of Barnet. So uh, yes, uh, so over the last few years they've been hovering in, the in and around that drop zone really. They're, uh, they're a club who operates in a really low budget and they have really low attendances too. I remember one or two of their uh, home crowds last season was 800 so uh, it's worse than us really because our average was about uh, 1,600 so you know more come there. They, they, are, they haven't got a, a massive fan base like some clubs do. You know, look at League Two, and they got Notts County, uh, MK, uh, Trammy Rovers, as well. Uh, a lot of big clubs in that division. So yeah, more come they. Uh, they will be expected to struggle again this season, but uh, they'll be hoping to kick on now. But uh, there again, it will still be a tough game for us tonight because we played uh, Bury the other day and we lost one nil. Uh, they're in the same league as more come as well, League Two. But to be fair, I was uh, pleased with how the display. I thought we played well. Uh, we put in a solid, uh, solid performance, and uh, you know we restricted Barry to a few chances, and we had a few of our own. But of course, we just need uh, uh, like two or three more strikers now. And still, as I as I speak, we haven't signed any yet. So you know we need to be getting a few more ahead of next Saturday. But of course, tonight it's just about you know getting the fitness levels ready, and you know our squad's taking shape now ahead of next Saturday's big game. So yeah, of course, um, you know, it's another match tonight and of course, I hope you enjoy the game. When it comes to Chester versus Morecambe, there is a link uh, related to this fixture. Uh, you may have heard of Kevin Ellison, he's 39 years old, uh, still playing for Morecambe, still going strong and scoring them goals in. Uh, he's been at Morecambe for seven years now and he's really experienced. He actually started his career in 1996 at Southport and since then he's played for the likes of Leicester, Hull, Trammy and Bradford, you name it, and uh, virtually every single club. But uh, one of the clubs he played for was also Chester City, which was our name at the time. He played for us over two years, and he had a habit of scoring lots of wonder goals. And you know, I'm sure he'll get a really healthy reception tonight. Uh, so, yeah, it'd be nice to see him back tonight at the Diva, uh, Kevin Ellison. He's actually like a midfielder, but uh, he can also play in a striker role, and he's. Uh, scored lots of goals uh, in his career and uh, two weeks ago Morecambe played away at Bamber Bridge in a friendly and uh, he scored a spectacular free kick so we, yeah, it just goes to show that he's still got it and uh, yeah, a yeah, really good player for them and uh, Morecambe, they will be making the uh, journey from the Lancashire coast so about two hours away so yeah, um, I don't think they'll take many fans really and I don't really think the attendance will be that big but uh, it should be a good test, so it should be a decent game and of course um, it'll put us in a good shape uh, ready for the season so you know it should be uh, a decent match tonight and of course uh, just be a nice chance to see our new lads playing uh, hopefully George Green will be able to make his debut because he's a really exciting signing for us because uh, unfortunately he couldn't, um, he couldn't play against Bury on Saturday because he had a slight injury but he should be fit tonight he should be fit for tonight and It'll be nice to see him out on the pitch because uh, it's one of our um, uh, key signings for this season. So it'll be nice to see him in action ahead of the new season. Since us being named Chester FC, we haven't played Morecambe since our reformation. But when we were in the Football League under the name of Chester City, uh, Chester versus Morecambe was a regular fixture back then in, uh, in League 2. So uh, we have a history of Morecambe playing Morecambe, but not since our re formation so it'd be nice to you know play uh, be, to be playing uh, new opponents tonight but of course it should be a decent match tonight I hope it is and of course uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's video 
Um, that's how I like to be coming up right now to the court. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Come on, city.
So the full time score this evening was two all and to be honest I actually really enjoyed it tonight for friendly it was a brilliant game of football uh, really entertaining for a neutral uh, especially it was just a great game uh, you know full of chances you know flying tackles and you should have seen Gary Roberts he made a couple of uh, strong challenges uh, especially for a pre-season game and it was just a really good workout for us tonight you know we fell behind twice in the game uh, first of all, we missed the penalty, but uh, then Morecambe scored. But you know, we fell behind twice, and we dug in. We showed some great fight, character, determination. And, you know, it's just like you know, really positive end of the season. And you know, for friendly, it was a really good game. I thought. Um, you know, of course, Morecambe scored. Then a minute later, we equalised, and you know, with uh, chances on both ends, and it was quite even to be honest. But. You know, both sides had their fair share of opportunities and then in the second half Morecambe scored a penalty and right at the end Gary Roberts hammered it in the top corner and, you know, for friendly three penalties, you know, we missed one too but, you know, I thought it was really good, really ple really pleasing too, you know, because Morecambe and there were the two leagues above us and, you know, uh, if we can show this more often this season then I really think we can do really well and, you know, um, our squad last season, the year before, we would just drop our heads as soon as we equalised. But no, 
now we've got lo we've got loads of character in our team you know all the players we have now they're really determined to do well and you know they, they work really hard and Steve Housen in particular he had a good game so did uh, Gary uh, Gary Roberts he did really well too he scored that penalty and he made a couple of great challenges as well uh, you know getting stuck in all the time which is just what we need really the type of player we, who we've been missing for uh, for quite a while now and uh, Simon Grant had a good game too and so yeah it's a good game really but also um, on the positive side uh, uh, on the negative side there were a few like uh, dodgy errors tonight I thought Grant Shenton, he made a few mistakes, but of course, you know, it's only pre-season. It's, a, you know, the time of year to, you know, get rid of all those mistakes and start afresh. And I'm sure, you know, uh, he'll improve a lot this season. So, yeah, really entertaining match of football tonight for a pre-season game. And, you know, uh, plenty of positives to take away ahead of another home match on Saturday, you know. Uh, we've still got another pre-season for only to go, but... You know, the new season, it can't come quick enough and I really, really can't wait for it now. You know, more than ever, it should be a cracking season. Uh, spending more time at home next Saturday. Let's get that diva rocking 3,000. We can do this, come on. And, you know, if we can play more like we did tonight, uh, more often this season, I think we can do really well. Uh, we've got two really good managers here now. So, you know, some cracking players who can who really get stuck in and really fight hard for the shirt and really can't wait now so yeah uh, we did well tonight against Morecambe uh, low corrals but you know still a really good game of football and we go again on Saturday you know it may be the Everton under 23 side but it'll be a tough game because uh, the last Saturday they actually beat Stockport 4-1 um, and they got, they got a few good plays in that squad uh, you may have heard of David Unsworth he's their manager he was the Everton caretaker manager for uh, period last season but you know they've got a strong side so be another good physical test for us then of course we can uh, rest for a week ahead of next week's massive game I really can't wait now it's going to be absolutely amazing it should be a brilliant game of football and let's hope that we can beat Svenny more but of course we go again on Saturday and of course um managed to get all the goals tonight all the action so of course I I uh, really hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Come on you blues.